Danny, the rain forced these businesses to close early here today in Attica, and that was a big inconvenience for customers and business owners. But Attica wasn't the only community impacted by the flooding in Wyoming or Genesee County. This is actually the gravel from up the road that we're putting back and I'm putting back in the hole here. Dave Conlin was at work when his wife called him to let him know their daughter's driveway was washing away in Attica. We've had some pretty good rainstorms before, but uh, uh, this was this was quite a drencher. The rain soaked communities across Wyoming and Genesee counties, including Batavia, where cars drove through the water where it wasn't deep enough to close roads. In Alexander, Railroad Avenue closed to traffic when Tonawanda Creek spilled over its banks and covered the road with six to eight inches of water. Attica also took several other hits. We received about three and a half inches of rain in a two hour period of time. Crews closed at least six roads. The wastewater treatment facility flooded, but no one lost service. And part of a newly paved French road collapsed. The emergency management director says some roads could be closed for months and says don't even think about driving through that flood water. There's a lot of roads that the pavement is still there, but there's nothing under the pavement, so it's it's like a bridge to nowhere. As for Dave, he's taking it all in stride and he hopes to finish fixing the driveway soon. You get a little surprised as you go along learning, you know, a new house out in the country. It's used to live in town, now they're out here. You get a lot of wind and a lot of wind damage and things like this happen. Again, the emergency management director says he doesn't know how long some of those roads will have to stay closed for just yet, but it could be months for some of them. Live in Attica tonight, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Kelly.